What up guys, it's the first episode today of the intermediate series and today we're going to talk about dinos. So in the beginning series we have gone through foot placements, how we place our feet on the wall, on the holes, and also how we use our hips and that's like a crucial point for a dino. So in this video we're going to break it down and teach you how to dino. The one thing we do in the beginning when we don't really know the dino is that we don't move our hips close enough to the wall. So we can have our bum hanging out too much so it messes up like the force we create but also makes the jump a lot harder because when you jump then you jump out way from the wall like backwards but you want to jump like straight up like following the wall to the hold um, so I'm just going to show you how that looks just like how we kind of like maybe can like recognize yourself how you do it with the hips uh, and then we'll like break that down and then we just kind of look at how it should look like with the hips and we're going to do this in like slow motion and all cool stuff and we're going to like get down to the very nitty gritty of it so yeah come uh, come with me and I'm going to like show you like the orange one to the two red ones. Fairly easy one, but it will give you the insight that you need just to kind of get your hips going. And another thing we do, for, besides like getting our hips close enough to the wall, is that we don't sink down on our feet when we do the dinos. We just kind of sink down a tiny bit, and then we just pull with the arms. And we're never gonna create the same amount of energy in our arms as we can do in our legs. So this is kind of like a classic scenario of how it looks when you don't, yeah, when you don't like sink down at all and you're just relying on the arms. So you kind of stand here, and you want to go to those reds, but you're up here. <laughs> so you keep, you never really sink down, you never give the energy or like the opportunity for your legs to push when you're like just relying on the arms. <laughs> so you never get the height that you need when you jump. So it's super important to just kind of lower yourself down in the beginning of the dyno. And then you're like doing a squat, I would say. Do a squat, explode, move your hips close to the wall. So you're like standing on your toes. You're standing on your big toes. So when you jump, you want to be like straight on the wall. Like you want to be up here, not out here. So you want to get here. So you see like I really explode, like I really sink down and squat it up. So now I'm going to show you in slow motion how it looks with the hips and the arms and we pull towards the hole. Just as like you can really identify maybe you can realize what you have done previously. So you can see exactly what you've done and then how to correct it. So let's like bring it down in slow motion, 300% slower and really like focus on the hips and the arms and see where they are. And then we're gonna also, I'm gonna show you like side by side how you do it properly. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's take a look at this in slow motion then. And now I really want you to pay attention to my hips in both the bad and the good. And you're gonna see a very big difference in where I locate them and how far I sink down. So you're gonna very see clearly in my bad example that I don't move my hip at all nearly. I just stay put and kind of pull with my arm. Whereas in the good position, I just really go far down and squat it up when I jump. And as you can see, there was a big difference in how far I went down and the energy I created. And the key thing is when you do the dyno, is that you sink all the way down. You take a, like a lot of energy and you wanna explode with the hip and start moving it towards the wall. But at the same time, you will start to feel that a lot of the weight you're having behind you is starting to get on your feet. And you really want to get all the weight, all the energy on your big toe. That's the time you want to jump. So when you go down and jump, you just want to create all that energy with your legs and your body. And the arms are just there to correct it in what direction you want to shoot. Here you can really see how I fail to create enough energy to get to, to, to my point, to the two holes that I'm going to. So it's incredibly hard to do a dyno when you only pull with your arms. You really, you really need like the entire body to work and you need to get into like the perfect position to execute it. So it's super important that you really like sink down all the way down and explode up with the hip pulling it towards the wall and feeling that all your weight and energy is on the big toe and that's the time when you release. All right, so you saw now in the slow motion, the bad and the good one. So we did the bad one. We didn't sink down with our, with our hips. 
We didn't do the squat that we needed and we just pulled with the arms and as well as we didn't move our hips close to the wall either. And we did a good one, we did like we did a proper squat, just sinking all the way down and then like exploding with the force through the knees up to the arms and really getting the hips close to the wall. So you get like really close to the wall. So instead of jumping out, you jump in towards the hold. Okay, so right now we're gonna do from the pink and blue right there up to the yellow undercling and then the black slope around the box. And that's kind of to do, you have two the opposite pointing for the start, but then you're actually gonna have to go two hands at once and catch both of them at pretty much the same time and then pull up the right hand immediately so you don't fall off. So it's a bit like coordination work as well. Hopefully you're able to see a little bit from the tips that we made you and also the dinos that we had. So really hope that you guys will take this to your homes and your gyms and give it a try. And then hit us up in the comments, let us know how it goes. Like, ask us any questions because we're super happy to answer anything. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. See you later.